Hello everyone, welcome back to Fat Math TV. In this video, we will have continuity of functions on an interval. A function is continuous on an interval if it is continuous at every point on the interval. So for the continuity of a function at a point, I uploaded a video, so check on the channel, uh, Fat Math TV. So it's uh, entitled continuity at a point. So you need to check if the function is continuous at uh, all points on the interval. So that you can say that uh, if uh, a function is continuous or not on that interval. Let's consider this function f of x. Is this function continuous on the interval? Uh, from negative 5 to negative 2, exclusive. So negative 5 to negative 2. So if you have negative 5 to negative 2, you just need to look at the part of the function here. From here, going to negative 2. So from negative 5 to negative 2. So if you will trace the graph from negative 5 to negative 2, there is no interruption, so no hole or uh, no uh, skip or jump or an asymptote. So uh, this function is continuous on the interval from negative 5 to negative 2. So uh, yes. Okay, next, how about on the open interval from negative 3 to positive 3? So from negative 3 to positive 3, we will look at the part of the graph from here, from negative 3 up to positive 3 here. So from here, going there, obviously you will have an interruption here at x equals negative 1, at x equals positive 1, and at x equals positive 2. So the function is not continuous on negative 3 to 3, on the open interval from negative 3 to 3. How about from uh, uh, 3 to 6? That's a half open interval from 3 to 6. So 3 is included in the interval and uh, 6 is not. So from 3, so from 3, so from here to 6 here. So if you will trace that here, going there, no, no hole, no jump, no uh, asymptotes. So the function is continuous. Yes. How about from negative 0 0.5 to 0? Which part of uh, the graph is that? From negative 0 0.5, probably from here. Oh. Negative 0 0.5 here. And then going to 0, so from until here. So this part only. So are there any interruptions? None. So this is continuous. How about from negative infinity to zero? So you will have from negative infinity to zero. So from here, okay, up to zero here. So you will have an interruption at x equals negative one. So no, it's not continuous on negative infinity to zero. How about from negative infinity to infinity? Obviously, it's not because that's from uh, the uh, leftmost here going to the right. So there are a lot of interruptions. You will have an interruption at negative one, at positive one, and at positive two. Okay, so that's it. If you're given with the graph of the function. And then if uh, you have um, you have to check the 
uh, endpoints, these two concepts are very important, the one-sided continuity. So a function is said to be continuous from the left at x equals c if f of c equals the limit of f of x as x approaches c. Meaning to say, if you have a function, it's going to be something like, uh, like this. You will have a solid circle going to x equals c. Let's say, for example, this is x equals c here. So as you move there, you are going to a solid circle. Because this is f of c is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches c from the left. A function is said to be continuous from the right at x equals c if f of c equals the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right. So let's say, for example, you have a c here, c, and then that's f of c there. Then, for example, your graph is going there. So if uh, uh, you are going from the left of c, then you are approaching also f of c. So you have a solid circle. So it looks like this. So if uh, a function is continuous from the left, there's a, from the left of c, then it will look like this. It's going to a solid circle. And then if you're from the right, it's going also to the solid circle. So uh, let's go back to the given. So is this function continuous at x equals negative 1 from the left? Where is x equals negative 1? x equals negative 1 is this one. So as you move here from the left, are you going to uh, this value also? No, you're going up. So no. How about if you're from the right at x equals negative 1? If you move to x equals negative 1, are you going to f of c also? Are you going to a solid circle? I'm going here. To, yes. So yes. How about going to a 1 from uh, the left? Where is x equals 1? You're going here from the left. Oh, there. Are you going to a solid circle? No, that's a hollow circle. So the function is not continuous. If you're from the right, are you going to a solid circle? Going to x equals 1? No also. How about uh, going to x equals 2 from the left? x equals 2 is here. So you will go here. Is this a solid circle? No. So not. Not continuous. How about at x equals 2. Is the function continuous at x equals 2 from the right? x equals 2 is here. So if you're from the right, you trace this one going to this. Is this a solid circle? Yes. So the function <coughs> is continuous at x equals 2 from the right. Okay, so let's uh, move to uh, intervals. So is this function continuous on negative infinity to negative 1, open parenthesis on negative 1, meaning to say uh, negative 1 is not included. If this is the case, then if you're asked for this, you just need to check all the values from the left of negative 1. Is this function continuous at all the values less than negative 1? Yes, because anyway, negative 1 is not included. So yes, how about if you include the negative 1? So this function is continuous from negative infinity to negative 1 if it's continuous through all the values less than negative 1 and it is continuous from the left at x equals negative 1. Are we going to... Uh, a solid circle if we are approaching negative 1 from the left? No, we're going up, so no. Please take note, if it, this is the case, there's a parenthesis meaning to say negative 1 is not included in the interval. If it's a bracket, then negative 1 is included. So if it's included, then you need to check if the function is continuous from the left at x equals negative 1. Is the function going to a solid circle if you approach negative 1 from the left? So in this case, not, not. So this function is not continuous on this interval. 
How about from negative 1 to 1? Take note, ne negative 1 is included and, ne and 1 is not. So you have to check if the function is continuous between negative 1 and 1. Yes, it is between negative 1 and 1. And since this is a bracket, you have to check if the function is continuous at x equals negative 1 from the right. So are we going to a solid circle from the right? Yes. So this function is continuous on negative 1 to 1. How about on uh, the open interval 1, 2? So from here, going here. Is this continuous at all points between 1 and 2? So we are not questioning anymore at 1 and at 2, just between. So yes. How about on 1, 2? Closed interval 1, 2. 1 is included, 2 is included. If you go to 1... Are you approaching a solid circle? No. If you go to 2, are you approaching a solid circle? No. So, no. How about from 2 to infinity? So, this one, all the values greater than 2. And the function should be continuous at x equals 2 from the right. So, it's continuous at other values. But if you're from the right, are you approaching a solid circle? Yes, so the function is continuous at x equals, I uh, continuous from the right at x equals 2. Okay, next. Determine the largest interval over which the function is continuous. Number 1, f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 4. This is a quadratic function. A quadratic function is a polynomial function of degree 2. So it's a smooth curve, no interruptions. So this function is continuous at the interval or on the interval negative infinity to infinity. Meaning to say the function is continuous in R, in the set of all real numbers. This is also a polynomial function. So polynomial is a smooth curve, so it's continuous over uh, the set of all real numbers or from negative infinity to infinity. So that is the largest interval at which the graph is continuous. It's also continuous from 1 to 2, from 3 to 5, from 1 to infinity, from negative infinity to 5, since it's continuous everywhere. So... Uh, you can just add, so the largest interval is the set of all real numbers are from negative infinity to infinity. How about f of x equals 2 over x plus 3? So this function is a rational function and it's continuous over the set of all real numbers except x equals negative 3. So x equals negative 3, you will have an... Uh, a vertical asymptote. So the function is not continuous at x equals negative 3. So the largest interval at over which the function is continuous is the set of all real numbers except negative 3. Or you write that as negative infinity to negative 3, not including negative 3, union negative 3 to infinity. So this is the same as writing the set of all real numbers except negative 3. So only numbers um, to the left of negative 3 and to the right, but not negative 3. So how about if we have f of x equals x plus 1 over x squared minus 4? So you need to check the values of x that uh, will make the denominator 0 because the function is not continuous there. You're going to have a vertical asymptote. So x squared minus 4 will be 0 if x is negative 2 and positive 2. So the largest interval over which the function is continuous is on the set of all real numbers except negative 2 and positive 2. So this is how you write it. From all numbers to the left of negative 2, between negative 2 and 2, and to the right of, ne of positive 2. So uh, negative 2 and positive 2 are not included. So set of all real numbers except negative 2 and positive 2. So this is how you write them in interval notation. 
How about number 5? f of x equals square root of x plus 2. So all numbers, uh, you should have x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So x should be greater than or equal to negative 2. So greater than or equal to negative 2 will be from negative 2 to positive infinity. So negative 2 is the lowest then going up to positive infinity. Because if you will have less than negative 2, this is going to be, let's say for example, negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So square root of negative 1 is not a real number. So the function is uh, no long, is not continuous there. Actually, the function is not defined on values less than negative 2. So only values greater than or equal negative 2 can uh, have... Uh, uh, is the function defined? And then lastly, this same, you just have 3x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. You will have x is greater than or equal to 4 thirds, or that is 4 thirds to positive infinity. So 4 thirds to positive infinity is the largest interval over which f of x equals square root of 3x minus 4 is continuous. So that's it for continuity on an interval. If you have some questions, you can write on the comment section below. And uh, for those who are uh, watching this video, uh, you can also try watching the other videos in Fat Math TV. So continue supporting Fat Math TV. And for those who are really supporting, thank you so much. And uh, I hope that this channel is helping you in your basic calculus classes. So uh, watch out for more videos and uh, uh, subscribe this channel. So thank you so much and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.